Did you know that in the past 11 years, there have been approximately 59 oil spills in the United States? According to ITOPF, Promoting Effective Spill Response at www.itopf.org, these oil spills have caused major harm to the ecosystem overall. With crude oil spills, burn motor oil containing heavy metals, and air deposits of aromatic hydrocarbons from the burning processes, this all spells out one word, contamination. Toxins for the environment and any organisms that are exposed. One way to safely and efficiently tackle the cleanup of oil contamination is bioremediation. Bioremediation is a deliberate introduction of microorganisms or other forms of life to consume and break down environmental pollutants in order to clean up a polluted site. For this bioremediation study, the microorganism we selected to utilize is Neurospora crassa, which is a form of fungus. Neurospora crassa is a common fungus found growing on dead plant material after fires. Fungi are a commonly known set of microorganisms often utilized in bioremediation because of their many advantages, such as growth condition tolerance, and also a wide range of enzymes that can metabolize various highly recalcitrant substrates. The fungi species in Rospera has a documented ability to degrade crude oil and possesses certain advantages for bioremediation, which makes it ideal for this study. These advantages include its readily available and entirely mapped genome, which makes it easily engineered. Neurospora crassa also produces the hydrophobin EAS, which reduces the surface tension of liquid. Hydrophobins are amphipathic proteins, and in fungi, they coat spores to make them difficult to wet or become saturated with water. The hypothesis of this study is that Neurospora crassa producing hydrophobins in unburned, oil-contaminated media will exhibit the most growth, while Neurospora crassa not producing hydrophobins in burned, oil-contaminated media will exhibit the least amount of growth. There were 36 replicates using two types of strains, wild type and mutant. The replicates consisted of a combination of the two strains, unburned oil, burned oil, or distilled water. They were placed on filter paper and incubated for 72 hours. Future research can be done to further understand the biochemical pathways by which fungus degrades oil spills using enzyme assays. Oil contaminated media leads to decreased lateral growth in fungus in comparison with normal media. Hydrophobins did not make a difference in these particular experiments. Therefore, this experiment did not show significant data with regard to hydrophobin expression. And although the Neurospora crassa are an excellent microorganism to use, the presence of hydrophobins did not seem to be important. Measuring fungus growth is challenging, so there is a chance our negative results were due to the way in which we measured growth. In future studies, we'll examine other ways to measure the growth of Neurospora crassa or another fungus.